Hey guys, I'm the Conman, and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon World 3. So in the last episode, we made our way to this evil place. At least it's evil in my book, but we made our way to Seru City. And we got lost along the way because that gem leader had to run away and go search for his true self for whatever he wanted to search for. So, how we went to Tirano Valley, that is actually not where we have to go. Sorry, I'm talking so fast, I just want to get this intro over really quick. But anyway... Toronto Valley is actually not our main destination at this point. We have, well, actually, because uh, the guy before the gym said, uh, "Hey, Sarah, your leader went to Protocol Ruins," so we actually have to go to Protocol Ruins, which is not through Toronto Valley. However, Protocol Ruins will eventually lead us to Toronto Valley, but that's not the case here. We need to go see the Sarah leader in Protocol Ruins. Okay, so since the last episode, I actually did, a, I actually grinded a bit, and as you see. Level 6, level 6, and level 8, and I also got the Digivolve of everyone, well, at least the first form, so we have Dino Human, uh, Antmon, and Cubimon. Which is actually real nice, except we don't have their first technique yet, which we will get when we get the Digivolve to level 5, which will hopefully happen in Protocol Forest, which Protocol Forest, to get to that, is through East Wire Forest, and I don't know why I'm talking so much, because we didn't go on this path before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna stop talking. So yeah. If you could follow me there, great. If you couldn't, I'm sorry. I just start talking fast when I need to get through things. But anyways, here we are in Protocol Forest, which we actually had to go to before in this little sea of trees that I hate because I always forget the direction. Anyways, the enemy you fight here is Goborimon! The evil green goblin who uses a bone, however, his attacks will barely hurt us. Because he sucks. He sucks. A lot. Because he's green like Shrek and everyone's like, well, Shrek is awesome, but I mean, come on. He's a goblin, and Shrek is an ogre with a donkey. Anyways, actually, I should probably start using their Digivolve forms just to show everyone them, and also get a few level ups in them as well. Because once we reach level 5, we'll get their first technique, which is will make the Digifall forms a lot better. Man, I really hate this forest. I basically just keep moving around the analog stick, hoping... You know, let's go Let's go to Dino Human. Alright, let's... I actually hate Dino Human just because of, uh... Well, you'll see, after he Digivolves, and the look of him. I just don't like it. That backflip gets really annoying after a while. I mean, sure, he has a giant meat cleaver on his back, but he never uses it, although I'm pretty sure he does for his ultimate technique, but, uh, we don't have that yet, so... Yeah, see, no, no technique. So all we can do is attack, although, in their Digivolve forms, their attack is raised, and also their damage and defense. Which is kind of nice, but... I mean, still, we can't kill him in one hit, because we don't have a fancy technique that we can use. However, in my little practice run... I'm actually uh, fighting the Seru leader at the moment, and I have everyone's first technique, and the technique is really nice. And there we go, learn technique cutter. All right. So let's see. Now that Kotamon has his first technique learned, well, for Dino Human, I need to get out of this forest first. Let's see. Let's play around with Patamon for a bit and get Angemon some levels, cause. We're actually going to have a boss fight coming up soon, later in this episode. Which, uh, the boss, I'm not going to say anything yet, but, uh, took me about three tries in my practice run, so he's not that easy of a fight. There we go, got through all this, over here is just more stone, and here, finally, we can go to Protocol of Ruins. Yes, the Sector Protocol of Ruins, huzzah! And yeah, it's just a little maze place here. Just walk around, hopefully you find the right path, which I actually know the right path. Now I'm just going to show everyone what's over here. You have a little tower with a ladder, which I don't know what the purpose of that is, but whatever. And the enemy here is Minotauruman, who is actually quite a pain to kill. Because you'll see in a bit. You shall see in a bit. Let's just play around with Angemon for a bit. Angemon is also one of my favorite Digimon because he's a badass. He is the pure definition of badass, at least when he digivolves more. 
into Magna Angemon, which is really cool. Because he's like a Wolverine Angel Mon. And he's cool. But Minotaur Mon hits like a freaking truck all the time. Like that. Oh no, we don't have... We don't have the Hands of Fate, I think, is his first text. Which is really nice. Let's see how much damage... Oh! Angemon, you... You deserve... Don't blast, don't blast, don't blast, don't blast, don't blast, don't blast! Okay! We're safe, we're safe. Let me save state because... I'm actually gonna save Panamon's blast state for... The boss battle that we're gonna do. Let's see, um... Let's... Let's just go into Dynahumon and show everyone Heat Gutter! Yay! So I guess Patamon's out of the battle until we get to the boss, which is actually really soon here in Critical Ruins, because he is right before the Seru Leader. However, he is an optional boss, and for killing him, you only get a, uh... I believe it's a little weapon you can equip. And, you know, of course, I try to use the move, and they dodge it all the time. Well, at least Kodamon didn't die from that, but... Uh, you know what, let's just... Let's just waste Kodamon. Let's just waste him. And yeah, he's still alive. Ooh, we got lucky there. Two attacks and one. And we are good. I'll just use a uh, power... power charge, I think. Well, the power charge is now, because I said they are. Kodamon is level seven. Six, seven, eight. Woohoo! Alright, about seven minutes into this episode, we're actually making quite a bit of, bit of uh, progress, so let me go ahead and heal everyone up and change the sword order to Kodamon first. Actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and put Renamon first so we can get Cubimon, Cubimon's levels, because we're actually going to need Cubimon for the, not the upcoming boss fight, but the next one and the one after that, because... We can use our secret DNA Digivolve move. And Renamon's probably gonna get maybe to level 9 or 10 this episode. Because Renamon is cool. Renamon is the ultimate definition of badassery. Being Edgemon is number 2. He's the runner up. But, anyways, going on this path, we will reach this staircase. And here we have the boss that we are going to fight, Pharaohmon. So let me just make sure. And also, I found out how to equip everything after playing around with the menu. It is in the status, which is rather strange. You just click on them. See equipment, oh, and yeah, you can change all these, which is nice. And Rinamon has cat ears and a buckler. And let's see, we get a thi a thing that Renamon's gonna equip with his right hand after we kill Pharaohmon. So let's go ahead and switch Patamon right next to Renamon. And Patamon's gonna basically be our sacrifice for Pharaohmon. What I'm gonna do is when the battle starts is I'm going to use Patamon and hopefully get into Edgemon first and then once Pharaohmon hits me it'll take me down like, I don't know, 100 or maybe 50 health. Good, you're ready, then I'll go full force. And Pharamon, like every other boss in this game, is ridiculously huge. Alright, so let's go ahead and Digivolve into Angemon first. And hopefully one hit from Pharamon will put us into Magna Angemon. Well, first into our blast state, then we can Digivolve into Magna Angemon. So boom, Angemon, that... that... crazy guy. Alright, let's just hope this doesn't kill us. Let's see... And we're good. All right, blast state activate. There we go, Patamon blasted. Oh man, I just love their blast evolutions. And transform into Magna. I'm pretty sure it's Magna and Jamal at least. Who is the definition of a badass? And here we can just use Gate of Destiny as much as we want, as long as we don't die. Which Gate of Destiny actually hits Paramon for. Quite a bit of health, from what I remember. Yeah. Hits him for quite a bit of health. Which, that also hits us for quite a bit of health as well. And we're dead. Adamon is a loser! Well, that's, uh... It's rather nice, I guess. What is Renamon almost out of his last state? 
No, Renamon is not even at the blast state. Okay, let's see. I guess, uh... You know what? I guess right now is a good time to show the DNA Digivolve. It's basically, you Digivolve from... Actually, no, you switch them out, and then in between the switching, they go ahead and do some special Digivolving thing and have some combined Kamehameha type. At least, that's the deal with Kodamon and Renamon Digivolve, which is this guy, who I don't know the name of. That looks pretty cool. He reminds me of Goku a lot. Eh, wait, oh, oh, no, not yet. Not yet, Faramon, you're still standing, but I will take you down sooner or later. Necromist and his favorite move. Although he can only attack and use Necromist, which... I would rather him use Necromist than attack because... It doesn't hit for that much, but it also poisons us, which... Not all that fun, but I mean... It's whatever. And he's still alive. One more hit. Hopefully he doesn't get to use Necromist two times because then we won't die. Actually, I wonder. Let's see. And, oh, oh, there's the poison. And we are gone. We have fallen and we can't get up. But luckily we have the valiant efforts of Renamon. Which I'm going to attempt to use Cubimon and just attack Faramon to finish him off. What, let's see if my efforts are in vain or not. So take that, Faramon. And... Ooh. So basically, we can... We have to hit him once. Once with... Oh boy. Come on, attack. Hit him! Hit him! Yes! We win! We killed the Faramon in the first try. And he's defeated. And we also get a nice 120 experiments. Experiments. Experience! I need to learn to speak. And back in Protocol Ruins, we will see what he has to say about this. I lose, you're better than you look. Yeah, of course. As praise to you, I'll give you this. Yeah, I got the old wand, which is the weapon that we were talking about. You're strong, our gods will be with you. Thanks, man. Thanks. It's nice to know we have a wand on our side. I spent five minutes fighting you, and all we get is a wand. An old wand. He gives us an old wand after we kill him by trying our hardest. Anyways, I'm just gonna heal everyone up because we're actually going to have to leave Protocol Ruins and head to Durano Valley in a minute. Which that will be in the next episode. Yay! Well, after I get out of here, I'll go ahead and end this. Hey, you know what? Uh, let's. Let's keep Patamon in the first slot. He's always a pretty good sacrifice. Because he's Patamon. And he enjoys being sacrificed. I had another Minotauramon, yay! Just what I needed. Oh well. We have our trusty flying hamster to do our damage for us. However, Boom Bubble still does not kill Minotauramon in one hit, but. At least Patamon can kill Minotaurmon. Because of my practice file, I came here and Patamon could not. Minotaurmon basically... How should I say this? Raped us. It was painful to watch. And... To play. Anyways... Minotaurmon is vanquished. Seeing as though this has been going on for about 14 minutes... Uh, Gaborimon. You know what? I'm just gonna run. You know what? We're not gonna run. Patamon is probably just gonna die. Can we run? Can we run? We run away! Okay, so seeing as though it's about 15 minutes, 14 and a half minutes, I'm going in the episode here. So in the next episode, we will go find the Seryu leader and do whatever he needs us to do at Toronto Valley. Oops, spoiler alert. So I will see you guys next time.